Hi and guten Tag. I'm Konstantin from Stuttgart, Germany, the city where the Mercedes and the Porsches are built. Today I'll take a Volvo from Sweden for a ride in Bavaria and Austria. You think this sounds complicated? You haven't seen how to operate all the car's function on its touchscreen yet. I'll show you later. And before we take Volvo's XC90 range topping powertrain on the German Autobahn, let's see Sweden's biggest SUV on snow. Of course, it performs better than a Toyota Prius, but just like the Prius, the XC90 twin engine is also a hybrid car. It goes round like a princess on skates, a two-ton princess. In the hands of a skilled driver, of course. Okay, this was Hannes Resch, one of the professional driving instructors on this winter race track. And now, German Autobahn? No, we're still in the Austrian Alps. Taking a look under a Swedish hood, where big engines are no longer to be found. No eight cylinders, not even six, but still 400 horsepower. More power than some Porsches, hard to believe, as there is only a four-cylinder petrol engine. But there are also two electric motors, one in the front, one in the back. The owner should have a garage with a socket to charge the battery by plug. Political correct, Volvo would rather emphasize this powertrain was not primarily built for power-hungry daddies, but for customers who care about global warming. Good idea, as at this time of the year we usually have more snow, and we had to drive quite a while to find at least some. The petrol-electric hybrid provides several driving modes, mainly pure, hybrid and power. The pure electric mode allows a range of about 20 miles or close to 40 kilometers without burning fuel, up to a speed of 75 miles or 120 kilometers. Then the petrol engine becomes part of the game on the Autobahn. Speed! 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 Zero to 60 miles or 100 kilometers in less than six seconds. <laughs> well, if you put the pedal to the metal, the car quite makes some noise. Ooh, we're going 140, 150 kilometers, 160, 170. I have to slow down a little. Traditionally, Volvo drivers love it safe. They tend to wear a life jacket even in the pool or to buckle up even on the toilet. Now, some of them might get a ticket for speeding seduced by 400 horsepower. In Germany, we also build big SUVs, but we rather sell them to the US or to China than to buy them for ourselves. As a Merc or a BMW always shows its size and its power quite shameless, Germans prefer mid-size or small SUVs as they are socially better accepted. Volvo's XC90 is also big. Not big as a cathedral, but bigger than a chapel. Its styling is not aggressive, but clear and elegant. Okay, the so-called R design package includes 20-inch wheels, and the color, called bursting blue in matte, is an eye-catcher. But still, the Volvo has its unique gentleman-you-can-trust look a Swedish gentleman. Vegetarians might quarrel with all the leather, but at least no trees had to die for a wooden dashboard. The carbon panels are 750 euros extra. The gear stick is made from crystal glass. At night it's illuminated, spreading a homey feeling like a candle in an igloo. And works more easily than the operation unit. Let's see what we've got here on the touchscreen. Thoughtless actions might cause surprises. The sound system probably has an extra power plant. It pets your ears with 1400 watts. Uh, 
Barbara Streisand. I am a woman. Please stop. I better stay with driving. And talking about the car's advanced protection system, this Volvo was rated best in class in European crash tests. Cameras can even identify an elk crossing your way and avoid crashing into him. I find this very soothing, although there are no elks in Bavaria. Maybe it also works with kangaroos. Or wombats. All its safety features finally give the car an image of a big teddy bear, protecting your family in the bad world out there. On up to seven seats, just in case you have your own idea of family planning. No doubt, this is an SUV even for people who never thought about an SUV. Many will choose it with a down-to-earth diesel, but the twin engine is outstanding. Hope your job pays well, Pa. The Volvo XC90 twin engine starts at $70,000 or 76,000 euros in Germany. <laughs>